This is a game which I've named Teleport Simulator, and you'll see why in a bit. And it's been under development for maybe a week, maybe two. I don't know. You know, I don't. I don't keep track. Let me. So let me just show you the premise of the game. Okay. I'm not going to explain anything. I just want you to kind of figure out what the game is about, just so just just to kind of see if it makes sense. You know. So yeah, I'm walking around here. You know. What am I doing? You know, just me, me, I don't know. Look at the buttons. Oh, what does this button do? Interesting. Oh, what, what does this do? Fascinating. So, in case you haven't picked up on it yet, this is a simulator game which involves you teleport, right? And there's a very long cooldown between teleports, which I might make a little faster <laughs> just for the sake of the video. But the idea here is that you have this distance meter, which kind of tells you like when, when you're allowed to teleport, like so. Oh, there we go. You can sell. So so like the, the, the further you teleport, the more storage you get. So if I teleport here, I get like one storage. If I teleport further away, I get more storage, right? And then using this cache, I can upgrade both the distance and the storage. So now, now it's the maximum is 30 distance, but now it's 45 distance, right? There we go. And so there's also a shop where you can buy different teleports. You know, the abilities and Robux aren't done yet, but you know, you can purchase this teleport for gems and then you move faster for a, just the duration of the teleport. There we go. Like so. So that is sort of the premise of the game, right? You know, you teleport, you gain the storage from tele from teleporting and you can use this cache to just upgrade your character, right? Up upgrade your teleport. Um, so for the sake of just showing you stuff, let me actually make the cooldown to be one, just so it's faster. And to explain all the other buttons. Oh, yeah, I have this nice loading screen, which I'm, I made a tutorial on, by the way. So if you if you want to have something like that in your game, you know, go watch that. I have a button for inviting friends, which will give you a friend bonus for the cash. And there's this islands button. So how I want the game to run eventually, right? Is that you start off on this, you know, island, and then you, you know, run around with your short teleport. And then as you upgrade your teleport distance, I, I'm planning, I want to add like islands to the sky, you know? And so it's like, like the, the further you can teleport, the more islands you can actually access, you know? That's sort of what I'm thinking, because every single great game needs some sort of limitation. You know what I mean? Like, d like no, no game just gives you everything, right? Like, you have to have something which is limited, because then it gives the player something to work towards, right? Like, as you can see, two upgrades in, and I'm already teleporting pretty far. And the further I teleport, the more storage I get. So from one teleport, I just gained five storage. But if, if I teleport close, I only get one, right? So the further you teleport, the more storage you get. So then I can upgrade the storage as well. Um, here I'm going to have special upgrades. So for these unique teleports, which you can buy, I'm going to have upgrades for these unique teleports as well. So like for the speed teleport, it's going to be like how fast you're moving, right? Um, and that's basically the prototype for now, right? I, I, I don't know how the player would be able to get gems. So by default, they have 100 right now. But, you know, I'm, I'm not too sure. I was thinking maybe have them, like, spawn on the islands. But, like, I, I don't know if that's, like a, a, like, a good system. I was thinking to add maybe add quests, you know? Maybe, um... I know there's this game called Super Power Fighting Simulator that has this, where, like, you can just, you know, like... It, it has, like, this one NPC in, like, in the, the main spawn area who just gives you like quests and then you just keep on completing them. And then you, you know, you keep making like, like getting rewards from that. So maybe, maybe some quest system, um, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. So you'd be able to just kind of move around from, you know, platform to platform like this. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. And then, yeah, just upgrade this like so. Now you have 80 storage. That, that's pretty nice. Um, and as far as my ideas go, I'm kind of stuck, right? So what I have right now is just, okay, like, you know, I, I want to make some islands, okay? 
I want to probably add more stuff to, you know, this main area. Um, you know, I want to add more teleport ideas and like potentially some abilities, right? But I'm not too sure. Um, is there anything else I can upgrade, right? Maybe the cooldown, but honestly, maybe I'll keep the cooldown just one second by default, just so people don't spam the teleports, right? Um, and yeah, I don't know. Honestly, like this, like because I I do I do see very good potential in this game, you know. Like I I, I genuinely think that this is a game which could get a like really really popular, right? Or again, I mean, I, I could be just my ego talking, right? But like, I don't know. I really like this concept of just teleporting around, you know, gaining stuff, upgrading how far you can teleport. Because teleporting is always fun, right? Yeah, so see, from one teleport, I can get like 10 of them. Like that. Boom. Down. Bop. There we go. Sell this, you know, make some money. There we go. I'm just wondering if there's anything that's like vital that I'm missing, you know, because I do value feedback. And I think as someone who, you know, like you haven't developed this game from just a, a player's perspective, is there anything that stands out as either incomplete or, you know, something that you think actually would be a great addition to the game? Because, you know, I'm someone who's been developing this for a week or two now, right? So obviously my perception of this game is, isn't going to be the same as like the perception of a player who just joined, right? The things that I see about this game are going to be different to, you know, like, like a player who is just seeing this game for the first time, right? Especially if it's a player, not a developer. Sell. So how far, we, how far, how far can we take this? There we go. This and so yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll add like some rebirth button, maybe like some level quests, daily tasks. I don't know. So among us tasks, something like that. Um, yeah, you have these like warning labels and everything. Um, again, you'll have islands, you know, and then this button is going to open up a menu. Like eventually once the islands will be added, you're going to be able to, you know, like teleport to the islands that you, um, like have unlocked. I'm thinking maybe I can add like, like realms, like different dimensions with different islands, different currencies. Cause I've always loved the, this idea of like, just like, like a, a lot of spaces, you know, like I, I loved games. I just kind of seem to have like a bunch of worlds, you know, like, like whatever they call them, realms, islands, I don't know, whatever, right? Just explorable terrain I've always loved, right? And I've also, I've always loved teleporting. And you know, this, this, this seems like quite a, quite a nice match, to be honest. Yeah, there we go. So just from one teleport right now, I'm making 20 storage, right? So obviously, you know, I would need to work on the numbers a bit, but that's basically all there is to show you about this game yeah and then i'll have a shop to buy gems for robux because you know i want to make money what is this okay whatever roblox just keeps adding features that are stupid bro <laughs> um but yeah so this game this game is private okay so you know you can't really play the game like yet because like like i don't i haven't even data stored anything i'm just 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 playing around just seeing what actually works so i want i want to hear your advice i want to hear your feedback okay um, so you could leave a comment or jo join the Discord server, uh, which I'll have in the description, and then, you know, like, just talk about the game there. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you think of it. Let me know, you know, give me your feedback. Let's hopefully make this a banger game. I'll try maybe posting about it more, you know, if you want, if you want me to. Um, and yeah, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.